this is the shell I'll be using for my amplifier and this is the heatsink. I'm sorry that I couldn't show you how I made the shell. I actually did it off camera, but I'm going to show you how I did it with a piece of paper. If you're going to use plastic to make the shell, make sure to heat it before you attempt to bend it. So this is the design I'll be using for the front of my amplifier. But feel free to customize design based on individual preference. Now I'll be drilling the holes for the LEDs and volume controllers. Ensure you use a drill bit to the size holes you want or use one as close as possible to the needed size. I didn't have the required drill bit hence why I am expanding the holes. So make sure you solder all the LEDs in parallel. By the way this is my DIY off the grid soldering iron which I'll be showing you how to make in a future video. Feel free to go back and take a screenshot of the diagram so you can get a better understanding of how I made the circuit. I know this is not a perfect circuit. So if you have a better design, contact me, my email is in the description below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and drop a comment below.
I'm going to make another video covering the cooling system so please check it out. So this is a heat resistant material to help transfer heat from the transistors to the heat sink. Okay, so now I'm going to drill the holes for the input and output terminals. And then I'm going to use hot glue to secure them in place. I'm going to use this as the power terminals. Okay, so we're going to tape up the wires. Okay, so we're going to have to extend the wires into the transistors because they're way too short, so... I've finished extending the wires, 
So now I'm going to glue the circuit boards in place. So now I'm going to add a few finishing touches. So I'm using a preamp to play bass on one channel and treble on the other channel. And this is the speaker wire wires, as you can see. These are the input wires. Here's the power supply. I'm using 12 voltage, two amps adapters. And now. Time to test it. So, oh. we have a little bit of distortion, but it isn't much. <laughs> 